Hello, everyone. Today's poem is Zhou Nan, Ru Fen, a Zhou Wind from the Book of Songs. This poem has some specialties. First thing first, it's the second last poem in the Zhou Wind, and from the content, we also know that this poem was written.、Uh, In the late period of the、uh, West Zhou Dynasty, because it's mentioned the royal family was in a chaos, was greatly damaged. And、uh, the second specialty is the writing structure is quite different from other poems. Uh, we will have a further analysis when we go through the poem. And、uh, one more question about this poem is: the title "Ru Fen" was normally explained as a tomb. The Fen is the tomb, the mausoleum, the tomb, the mausoleum along the river of Ru. So the first character Ru was interpreted as. A river. The river was located in Henan Province,、uh, rather in the Zhou State, because because the Zhou State was you can look at the map. It's far far away,、uh, away the two places, and it's totally two different places. So, as my understanding, the poems in the Zhou Wind was written by the Zhou people. That's the first thing. First, the second thing is the poem is about something within happened within the Zhou state. I do believe it's something about the things, the affairs in the Zhou state. Especially it mentioned that. The royal family, because the Zhou state is just by the royal family, by the capital of the Zhou dynasty. As such, the title "Ru Fen" should be interpreted as "your tomb," because "Ru" refers you, your tomb, and the radical of the water on the left means. This tomb was alongside a river, a lake, along the water. Okay, let's have a quick review of the poem. Zun bi ru fen fa qi tiao mei. As I walk along your tomb, along the riverside, I pull out the trees around your tomb, on top of your tomb. Uh, so we are not very clear. Maybe it's a very big mausoleum, like a small hill. There's a lot of trees on the mausoleum, so the trees are on the mausoleum. It could be a normal tomb, so the true trees would be around the tomb. So this is a very general practice. Even today, when the Chinese went to the cemetery,、uh, went to the tomb of their ancestors. They will clean up the grass, the bushes around or over the tomb to make it clean. So this is a very general practice. 未见君子，逆如周鸡 Before I saw the Lord, I was in a dark mood. I was so sad, just like、uh, the hungry in the Early morning. Okay, the next and、uh, paragraph, second paragraph. Zun bi ru fen, fa qi tiao yi. As I walk along your tomb at the riverside, I cut those branches that extended over. So it's the same thing, right? To pull out the trees around the tomb. To make the cemetery clean in order. Okay, the next sentence. 
，既见君子，不我侠气。As far as I saw the Lord, but He abandoned me in in a hurry. So this is about quite strange, right? And、uh, let's go to the third paragraph, and、uh, let's try to find out what it's telling about in the first and second paragraph. Let's finish the third paragraph first. Fang Yu Zhen Wei, Wang Shi Ru Hui. The fish, the square fish, has a red tail. And the royal family, the royal horse, was just or is about to be demolished, to be destroyed. The next sentence: 虽则如悔，父母恐耳 Even though the royal house, the royal family, was like be. Demolished was like be destroyed, but my parents was still big at near front. So it's so so such a confusing poem. What does this poet mean? So in the general speaking, the poet was considered. As a female, as a wife, and I totally agree with it. So the relationship has two relationships in this paragraph.、Uh, sorry, in this poem, the relationship between the poet and the lord. The lord, of course, is a male, is a man, right? The other relationship is the between the poet and the parent. So in this way, most of the people think the poet is a female, is the wife of the Lord. So the other, another big question comes up. The first and the second paragraph. At the first paragraph, she goes to the a tomb. So who was buried in this tomb? The third relationship? No, definitely not. And、uh, in the first paragraph, he mentioned, "I didn't see the Lord." So let me give you a wild guess, and it's very likely. I think it's the fact in the poem: the Lord ha- has passed away. Maybe for quite a few years, maybe just passed away. So the Lord was in the tomb, and.、Uh, His wife went to his tomb to express her condolence, right? So, 逆如调剂 So here, express her feeling. She was just feel feel. She was in the water. She sunk into the water. 逆 means she was sunking into the water, and.、Uh, Zhou Ji. The general explanation is planned. It's just like the hungry in the morning, but I think Zhou Ji refers the a hungry for days, for weeks, and for months. So it's a some of the hungry in a famine, right? So the first sentence from my point of view is quite clear. The wife went to. Her husband's tomb to express her condolence to clean up the tomb. Of course, before he get to the tomb, he feel such sad, so sad, right? And in the second paragraph, described she was at. The cemetery. She was at the tomb with her ha- husband. So, in a illusion or in a wild imagination, or in some way, the wife 
was with her husband, or she saw her husband. The tomb was so ever she was at the tomb, and、uh, but the wild imagination flashes and go away. So that's why he she said, 不我侠气 Her husband abandoned her in no time, which means she think she saw her husband in her imagination, but very quickly the image, the image of her husband gone away. So what do her? What did she feel at the moment? Even sadness, the deepest sadness, right? Because the sadness is just like the,、uh, a calm river goes very calmly. The feelings is deep sorrow and sadness, but it's still okay because it's the river is very calm, went on calmly. But there's a turbulence. Arouse the joyful of this wife, so she feel as she saw her husband. She feel happiness, joyful or peaceful in her mind, but so in no time her husband, the image, the image of her husband gone away. So the sadness, the sorrow. Is much much worsened. It's getting deeper and deeper. The third paragraph is a total violation of the writing rules in the Book of Songs because ninety percent of the poems in the Book of Songs in the Stateswind, I should say, is sort of the three paragraph and. The three paragraph is in the same structure, but、uh, with a little bit change in each paragraph. And in this per- poem, the third paragraph is totally different from the first two paragraphs. So the writing is so unique in the bo-、uh, state's wind, and this actually reflects the conflicts. And the sadness in this woman, in this wife, because from the first two poem, the sadness, the hard life, is really hard to bear to continue, right, for this woman. But with the third paragraph, the wife explained. Why she continue her life? The reason why. So let's see. Fang Yu Zhen Wei, Wang Shi Ru Hui. So this is telling us the situation is so bad. Even the royal family was in a in a disaster. Right? It's almost like to be destroyed. Even the royal family was in a disaster. Not to say the family in uh in the Zhou state. Not to say the uh the family of this wife. But still, the wife should continue her life because her parent was much much old, very very old, Kong Er, but. They are still up front. Are means something very near. So the last sentence explained why the woman does not、uh, committed suicide because she loved her husband so much, and the situation is also so bad. But she had to manage her life in this. Situation because of her husband. Sorry, because of her parents was still there. 
So this poem is very, very unique and very special in the Book of Psalms. And also, the images of the fish is、uh, mysterious. Nobody know what exactly that sentence mean. Feng Yu Zhen Wei, Feng Yu, the fish or Wu Chang Yu. So the shape is just like a square. So that's quite sure. But what does the Zhen Wei mean? So normally it was explained as a red fish tail. Wei means the t- fish tail. But no, if that's the case, what does a red fish tail means? The normal explanation refers if the fish tail turns to red color, which means the fish was so tiresome. Well, I still have some of the doubt of this explanation. Anyhow, this doesn't affect the understanding of this poem, right? The first whole poem described the wife. Went to her husband's tomb, and she was so m- missing her husband. She was so sad, and which makes him want to commit suicide. Right? Even she didn't say that, but I can feel that. And the last paragraph explained why she didn't commit suicide because the her ha her. her Parents were still there, and she had to help out the situation. To he had to sorry, she had to help out her has、uh, parents. So this poem either expressed the、uh, praise or missing to a lord. So that's the main. Stream subjects in the state's wind. Either this poem expressed the respect and、uh, the support to her parents. Her parents is the ancestors, right? So this is this poem is quite a mixture. So normally, in a normal poem, either it just mentions the ancestors, or either the Lord. But this poem uses this very special situation, special case, and、uh, with a special writing to express that the praise, the the mem memory to the Lord, as well as the respect, the. The support to the ancestors, and one more thing is, this is the few poems in the Zhou Wind to express the condolence or praise to the Lord to the ancestors,、uh, because in most of the states wind, the main subject or the subject is almost all about Lord and ancestors. But in the Zhou Wind, which was normally considered、uh, as the decent wind, Zheng Feng,、uh, together with、uh, Zhao Wind, so this is two wind is the considered as a decent wind. They are not all of the about the Lord and the ancestors. The first and the second. Poem in the Zhou Wind is about marriage, so that's the major difference between the decent wind and the other states wind. Remember that. Bye bye for today.